Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to create the most professional YouTube channel banner. And you don't have to have any technical skills. I'll do my best to walk you through it step by step. Now, the easiest way to do this is by using Canva. If you don't know what Canva is, I'll link to it below and you could watch my tutorial on it. But I'm not covering Canva in this video. That's a beginner's guide to creating a YouTube banner. This is gonna be for creating the most high-end YouTube banner that you can and that's by using Photoshop. And you don't have to actually know Photoshop really at all. You could follow along and I'll show you exactly how I do it because I'll use a template. With the template, you just have to basically change the words on the template and the pictures on the template to your own. You don't have to know any design. So this is an advanced training to a YouTube banner without any technical knowledge. So hopefully by the time you're done with this video, you have everything you need to know and link to Photoshop and the template that I'm gonna mention are below as well. Let's jump in. I go to this website called Graphic River and I'll put a link below in the description and type out YouTube channel banner. And for just a few bucks, you can get very advanced templates, but they are created for Photoshop. So instead of making them brand new on Photoshop, I look over here and I find them over here, okay? So let's see what the top sellers are right here for YouTube channel banner. And I'll just give you an example. If you click on one, I've already bought one that I'm gonna show you, but if you click on one, it's gonna show you that you get a bundle. You typically get a bundle, a bunch of them. So you could actually change it out later on. Okay, so let me go back and show you what I bought. The bundle I bought gave me this one, this one, this one, and this one, okay? Okay, so I got five, and I think this was about maybe under $10, okay, and I got all of these. So with this, once I download it and I open it up here, this is my template, okay? So now I could edit this. But the reason why this is advanced tutorial, because you have to use Photoshop to make any edits, and there are layers, so everything is on its own layer that you could turn on and off, or double click to edit. So if you don't wanna learn Photoshop, forget this tutorial, it's too advanced, but if you're taking this seriously, you should learn at least the basics of editing a template in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and do that in our case. So I know this section is gonna show up on everything, but this section is gonna disappear on some devices and top and bottom is gonna show up on TV. So all that is good, okay? This right here is for a picture, so I'll show you how to bring in a picture, and put it right here. And let's do some edits to this now. I'm gonna go ahead and double click over here or open up this text box. And I don't want live stream. I don't need any text there, so I'm gonna delete that. I do want to edit house music. So I'm gonna double click house music and I'm gonna type in creator room, the name of the channel. Actually, let me do all caps here. So I'll turn on cap lock creator room. So that looks good there. And I'm gonna shrink it down up here. Looks like I'll have to select the whole thing first and I'll shrink it down. Okay. Do I wanna put the schedule? No, because I don't wanna have a schedule like that, so I'm gonna delete that too. Okay, so create a room, and what I wanna do now is I wanna have a line underneath it, so I'm gonna take this text layer, I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna duplicate it. So I'll duplicate, there we go, duplicate layer, and I'll press okay, and I'll select that now, and I'll press the move tool up here, and I'll just press that down arrow here. If you hold shift and down arrow, it moves it a little bit faster, okay? Now, I'm gonna double click this one, this text, and I wanna edit that. I wanna call this place for content creators, and I'm gonna select all that, and I'm gonna shrink this way down, okay? I'll shrink this way down, and maybe I'll change the style of that text over here. So I'll make this maybe, let's see what medium looks like better. I'll place the check mark, okay? So you get the idea here, you could do this and create as much text as you want. Now, if this is again too advanced, watch the beginner's guide to Photoshop so you know how to get around. Any of these other elements like this one, uh, there's the shape section, I could open this box and let me see which one this is. There we go, I'm gonna delete this. Then over here, I'm gonna select this, this name box. I don't want DJ, whatever that says. And I could edit all these individually. So you could go ahead and play around with this as much as you like, bring in other elements to it. And let me show you, let's figure out where the picture element is right here, image. Okay, let's open up this folder. 
and this is the folder for image. Okay, so what I want to do is I need to change the image over here. So let me go and find an image I want to bring in. Here's a screenshot from one of my videos and I'm going to bring it over here and drop it on top. So now it obviously doesn't look right, but you can, you know, shrink this down and put it somewhere, but I want to put it inside of this right here. So I need to grab the layer and put it where this one was. And just like that, you put it in that circle. I just need to move it over now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and press the move tool and I'll press V and I'm holding down shift to just move it over quicker. There we go. And I'll hide the other one because it's covering my face. So let me bring it back. There we go. I'll put myself right there. Okay. This is something that would be too hard to do designing from scratch and it's much easier to do it this way. Here I could type in what kind of content I make, right? YouTube tips, video creation, and I'll name this one YouTube growth. Okay, something like that, just to make it really simple for someone looking at this to figure out what this channel is all about, type of content you make, and your video schedule could go here too. So let me show you the one I actually finished up here. Let me go ahead and open it, it's right here. Okay, so this is my final. I did bring in a YouTube logo, I just Googled the YouTube logo here and then dropped it in just like this image and placed it over here. So this is my final design. I've made some text edits here to the font and the color. Let's say I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go to file, export as before and export as. And this is the size, PNG is good. Again, I don't need transparency and I'm gonna press export and I'll put it in my graphics folder here that I made before. So creator room banner. Now let's go back on YouTube right here and we'll go back here and upload that. Press upload. I'll find it in my hard drive here. There it is. I'll press enter. And you could see this one is viewable on desktop, but on all devices, it's not going to look quite right, right? So what I should do is actually move some of these elements around. Maybe if it doesn't look right, but I'll leave it as is because I'm going to actually look to see what it's going to look like. And you can see creator room is getting cropped. So I made the text too big. I need to move this over. So in those cases, you just go back and you select things and you move them in, right? So it's really easy to make edits to anything later on. I'll just move this in. I'll go ahead and make this bigger and I'll move these out. So I make sure these only show up on one device. And same thing. I'll go ahead and save this. Export, save as, press export, change. Oh, well, actually it looks pretty good for this layout. So this is what it's gonna look like. You get a little preview. And if you press publish, what you could do is you could press view on the channel. So if you press this, it's gonna show you your actual channel and what it looks like on a computer. It looks perfect right now on this computer, but I recommend you look at it on your phone too to make sure everything is set up the way you want. So I hope you found this useful. This is just a little glimpse into my YouTube course. So if you want to grow a YouTube channel for your business, or if you wanna turn a YouTube channel into a business, I am almost done finishing the course. I'm about 75% of the way there. So a link to a waiting list is below, or if it's released by the time you see this video, go ahead and check that out in the description. Thanks so much for all your time and I will see you next time.